All right, guys, before I get started, I'm going to show you my Phantom and so you can see what I'm working with here. Um, you can see here this is a, uh, a bone stock Phantom 4. The only thing I have on it is a Polar Pro filter there. Um, I'll be using the stock controller here. No modifications, no range extender. You'll get to see exactly what uh, the Phantom is capable of in this area. Uh, bone stock, basically. So, so yeah, let's get it in the air and then uh, see what she can do. All right, guys, we got her up in the air here. We're about 306 feet right now. I'm about to take it up to 400 feet, and uh, we're gonna see what kind of range we can get in this area. If this area looks familiar to you, you will notice that it's the exact same spot where I tested the DBS mods kit on my Phantom 3 Professional. If you haven't seen that video yet, check out this link right up here somewhere. Um, and in that video, I talk about the um, the maximum range that I received out of my stock Phantom 3 in this same exact area. So, if you don't exactly remember what that was, I will post a number right here to show you what my stock Phantom 3 got. And we can compare uh, what the Phantom 4 gets. So, we're up there, we're moving, we're headed out, we're about... We've gone about 600 feet, and um, I'm heading uh, in the, what appears to be the exact same direction as in that other video. So let's uh, let's take a look and see how far we can get. Don't have much wind out here today. I believe it's pretty much exactly the same conditions as when we tested the uh, Phantom 4 with the DBS kit. So hopefully this is a comparable test. Just a little over 2,100 feet, just across 2,200 feet. Still got full reception. Just crossed 3,000 feet. Still cruising at 390 feet of altitude and uh, still good on five bars of reception. Whew, man, it's a warm day today. Four thousand feet and still going. Everything's still going smoothly. 
We're about 4,700 feet. We're still at 390 feet of altitude. 77% battery. If I remember correctly, the Phantom 3 Professional without the DBS mods kit, we got about 7,400 feet. Um, if I'm wrong about that, you'll see a uh, annotation next to my head, but um, if we get further than that with the Phantom 4, I'll be pretty happy. Phantom 4 is supposed to get a little bit better range, better uh, battery life all that good stuff so we'll see how it goes right now I'm at 62 6300 feet and I still have great reception so um, if I remember correctly when I did the Phantom 3 it was um, kinda of struggling at this point like it was coming in and out my display is is crystal clear I've got no issues yet full reception on HD full reception on um, RC signal so, so far we're doing good. 7,000 feet out. Still at 390 feet altitude. I've got it in the basic GPS mode. We are not in sport mode right now. Basically, I kind of want to see about the battery life as well. Um, battery life seems to be doing pretty well. I'm still at 71% and I have just crossed 7,800 feet. So now I know we've gone farther than the Phantom 3 Professional at this in this area. 8,000 feet. Okay, now I'm starting to get some weak image transmission signal. Um, I still have full RC reception, but my light bridge downlink is uh, weak. So I'm going to stop right there because my screen's coming in and out. But um, right now, I've got 8,528 feet of distance, 68% battery life left, still five bars of um, RC reception. So. I'm gonna try to take it a little bit further, but yeah, we're cutting in and out pretty bad. See if I can get to 9,000 feet of distance. Went back up to five bars of reception, so maybe I just had a little hiccup there. All right, we're 9,000 feet out, so I'm pretty sure we're about 2,000 feet further than the Phantom 3 Professional in this same spot. So I'm going to go ahead and turn around and um, cruise on back to us. Yeah, while it's coming back, we can talk about this for a little bit. Um, there's been a lot of talks about the Phantom 4 having you know weaker image or weaker range uh, and things like that. And you know, there's not a doubt in my mind that some people are probably experiencing that. I think it all depends on your location, your surroundings, um, what kind of interference you might have. I am literally out in the middle of nowhere, as you can see from the video. Um, I'm over cornfields and roads and some trees, but I've got a pretty clear line of sight out here. And um, honestly, it's it's been uh, th in this area, honestly, I've gotten an increased range in my Phantom 4. Now, that, that might not be for everybody. Everybody might not be seeing this increased range. Um, like I said before, it definitely depends on your location, your surroundings, your interference, all that good stuff. But I can say personally that in this location, a Phantom 3 professional got about 7,400 feet. My Phantom 4 just crossed over 9,000 feet. Alright guys, so that was a successful test uh, of the Phantom 4's range versus the Phantom 3 Professional's range. 
in the same exact locations, very, very similar weather conditions. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed that video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a bunch. Also make sure you subscribe. Check out some of my other videos if you haven't checked them out before. And uh, look forward to more videos with my Phantom 4, and I'll still be bringing you some more videos with the Phantom 3. Thanks, guys.